Request of the week. Cliberto, how's the real estate market in Orlando today and what are the predictions for 2022? Great question. And I'll be right back with the answers. Stay tuned. Hi, right, so here we are here to show you the four reasons I think that the real estate market in Orlando will continue to be strong in 2022 here in Orlando and Florida. And I'll show you why I do that. Hi, this is Cliberto Copetti, a real estate broker with Real Estate Compass here in Orlando. And we are here to share the news and the market updates with the Orlando area with you. So let me share my screen with you and show you what I'm talking about. While everybody's talking a possible bubble, we don't believe that will happen. And we'll show you the reasons why. Let me show you my screen. I prepared this report for local presentation and I'll show it to you. The reason number one is supply and demand. Let me explain what I mean with that to you. Let me go back to this graph produced by our association here in Orlando, or Orlando Realtor Association of Orlando, and it'll show you why. The supply is extremely low. Notice how the supply has been falling from every year. Basically, uh, we measure the supply in months of inventory and to deplete the current inventory, we have less than one month. It's 0.91 our current supply. As you can tell, it's been falling in the past few years. You can see on this graph as well. If there's just more need for uh, supply because the demand is so high. Going back here, we can explain even more. Like I just said, the months of inventory is less than one month. In other words, if builders don't build any more houses and uh, owners don't put their property for sale, we will not have any houses to sell in uh, less than one month. The second reason is population growth and in-migration. Florida has for five consecutive years, being strong, ranked number one spot on net migration, as you can see on this little graph that I have here. Florida, then Texas, then Arizona, North Carolina, so forth and so on. It's more than, i show you actually the actual number. Florida saw so the largest gain in residents between July 19 and July 20 with more than 250,000 new residents. And now in the past one year, we are seeing what we call the in-migration or net internal migration. People moving from states like New York, California, uh, Illinois to Orlando and Florida area. So that's something that puts more, even more pressure on the supply. The third reason is low interest rates. Even though the uh, analysts are saying that the interest rate might go up a little bit next year, it's still very, very low. We are currently in the lowest uh, interest rates in the past 40 to 50 years. And I tell you, even for four nationals, the interest rate is very low. They say lowest in about 20 years for four nationals. The fourth reason is obvious that it is the international buyer's return with the uh, borders reopening, we are now going to have the uh, four nationals arriving to Orlando, the visitors, and from past experiences, in 19, Orlando had 76 million visitors, and some of them will be international buyers. And for us in particular here in Florida and in Orlando, uh, we will see again the uh, visit of the, uh, the largest international buyers, which for us here in Orlando is Brazil, followed by Canada, Venezuela, Colombia, and then Argentina, United Kingdom, and so forth and so on. So that's the summary, no bubble in sight. Uh, I'm going to leave this report down in the descriptions of this video. Please comment, like, join our channel if you haven't yet, and let us know what other video you want to see from us. Have a good day, and if you enjoy this, 